In today's show, Bitcoin rebound hits 45,500 as focus switches to future support retests. In today's show, I'll be breaking down the latest technical analysis. And as Calio points out here, well, this is a lot more fun. Ran straight past the range highs. Don't have to wait for a send. Love to see it. And he also shares, okay, a couple of hundred dollars lower than the previous tweet, but I'm back to thinking we run it back to retest 40,000. I don't know, honestly, listening to this space has my brain all sorts of messed up and clearly not thinking clearly. Either way, just keep stacking. Trend is bullish. Add on dips. And as on chain analyst William Clemente shares here, just as the move down gave no dead cap bounces or clean retests, this move up so far has given shallow dips and no clean retests, leaving sideline capital sweating and potentially having to chase. And as Mike Alfred shares here, if everyone already understood Bitcoin, it would cost at least $5 million to buy one. Be thankful. And this just in breaking news, Canadian Tax and Advisory Service, KPMG, bought Bitcoin and Ethereum for its corporate treasury and is now holding it on its balance sheet. This is a pretty big deal considering it's a big four auditor. Also more breaking news, Bitcoin Lightning Network goes live on the Cash App. As they revealed here, Lightning Network is now available on the Cash App. It's the fastest free way to pay anyone in Bitcoin. Buy tacos, tip your favorite Twitter comedian or podcast host, or send a friend money abroad anywhere that accepts Lightning. And speaking of the Lightning Network, the capacity just made a new all-time high at 3,436 BTC. Also in today's show, global crypto adoption could soon hit a hyperinflection point, according to a new Wells Fargo report. Quoting them here, if this trend continues, cryptocurrencies can soon exit the early adoption phase and enter an inflection point of hyper adoption, similar to other technologies. Also in today's show, Bitcoin forming a price floor on its way to $100,000, according to the latest Bloomberg report. Quoting them here, Bitcoin is more likely forming a floor than a ceiling, which means range traders accustomed to thirty dollars to $60,000 may be disappointed. Since the start of 2021, the more tactically oriented had opportunities near the lower end twice and to sell for double around the upper end. Our graphic shows this consolidation period may be ending with the path of least resistance pointing higher. About 30% below, the 52-week moving average has proven to be a good support reading. Bitcoin revisited this potential bottom in January for the first time since the 2020 trough. And as you can see here in this chart, top of the Bitcoin Bitcoin range moving towards $100,000. I'll be breaking this down for you. We'll also be taking a look at the overall crypto market. As you can see, Bitcoin, Ether, and many of the alts are pumping while some are correcting and in the red. But where's the Bitcoin price likely to go next? Find out all this plus so much more in today's show. Here the news alerts. I drop a brand new episode every single day. The goal is to get to 100,000 subs along with $100,000 Bitcoin price. If you like getting that crypto, be sure to smash that subscribe button and ring that bell to turn on all notifications to receive daily premium crypto news alerts every single day just like this. And today's episode is brought to you by BlockFi, the number one leading provider of financial products and services for crypto investors. And they have a special promo they're running right now where you can get up to $250 in Bitcoin for funding your account today. And their flagship products include their BlockFi interest account where you can earn up to 8.25% APY with no minimum balance and no hidden fees. The other flagship product includes their BlockFi Bitcoin rewards, Visa credit card where you can get 3.5% Bitcoin back on all your purchases within your first 90 days and then get an unlimited 1.5% Bitcoin back on everything you purchase thereafter. And they also offer crypto back loans. That's right, borrow funds against your crypto with rates as low as 4.5%. APR and there are no prepayment penalties. There is no impact to your credit and you can receive the funds the same business day, truly making this a no brainer. So go ahead and click the link in the description right down below and get up to $250 in Bitcoin for funding your account today. And let's start stacking those sats, shall we? All right, welcome back to another episode of Crypto News Alerts. I'm your host, JV. How's it going, crypto fam? Holla at your boy. Now, Bitcoin hit new multi week highs above 45,000 on February 8th as the largest cryptos. Comeback continued, and right here you're looking at the Bitcoin one hour candle chart looking bullish as a mofo. Now, data from Cointelegraph Markets Pro and TradingView showed Bitcoin reaching 45,500 on Bitstamp in its latest surge before consolidating. Volatility was once again in evidence as the pair fluctuated by $1,000 on intra hour time frame, circling $44,800 at the time of this recording. Now, fears of a major correction were nonetheless left unfounded on the day, despite theories that 40,000 could see a retest next as crypto 
crypto Calio shares here. Bitcoin, PA feels a bit overextended here after retesting the highs from the January range, expecting a retest to 40,000 before we see any continuation higher. If we do see a retrace here, the real area of interest will be watching how price reacts to the retest level of the higher time frame diagonal breakout at 40,000. Break beneath that level would be pretty dangerous. At the moment, I'm assuming it holds and we see a clean bounce watching closely and he updates us still early but a few hours later and this is looking likelier where I expect bear gloating and panic on the feed is after lower time frame support breaks around 43,200 still expecting a bounce off the higher time frame support of around 40,000 and then he updates us here well this is a lot more fun ran straight past the range highs don't have to wait for the send love to see it and he concludes okay a couple of hundred dollars lower than the previous tweet but i'm back to thinking we run it back to retest 40,000. i don't know honestly listening to this space has my brain all sorts of messed up clearly and not thinking clearly either way just keep stacking trend is bullish add-on dips so there you have it btfd by that freaking dip. Now, Bitcoin's latest moves represent a breakout of the downtrend in place since November's all-time highs of 69,000, sparked by a similar exit from its relative strength index known as the RSI. Bitcoin price action is now closing on its yearly opening price just above 46,000. And analyzing the fuel behind the past day's progress, on-chain analytics resource material scientists noted that large volume traders were accumulating while the whales who had bought in at prices around 38,000 were now neutral. As he shares here, driver of the rally were orders of size between 10 and $100,000, which made up almost all the total CBD. Whales remain either flat or sold into the rips and more breaking news in a separate development. News came in on Monday that US regulators had approved a new form exchange traded fund focused on Bitcoin mining. And as on-chain analyst William Clemente shares here, just as the move down gave no dead cap bounces or clean retests, this move up so far has given shallow dips and no clean retests, leaving sideline capital sweating and potentially having to chase. Altcoins, meanwhile, were slightly more sluggish as Bitcoin's rally stole the show. Ethereum, the largest alt by market cap, was up 3% in 24 hours hours compared to Bitcoin's 5% gains, but only Cardano and XRP conspicuously outperforming the majority. The latter saw daily gains in excess of 16%, marking a clear turnaround and paving the way for an attack on the $1 mark as credible crypto shares here. That is the strongest daily candle we have seen on XRP slash BTC in six months. We have broken our falling wedge downtrend line and a key cluster of resistance may have avoided the breakdown I was concerned about. We'll get more confirmation in the coming days if this move is legit. And as Mike Alfred shares here, if everyone already understood Bitcoin, it would cost at least $5 million to buy one be thankful. Now I agree 100% considering it's unconfiscatable, it's immutable, it's borderless, it's permissionless, and it is the future for humanity. Just saying. And this just in breaking news, Canadian Tax and Advisory Service, KPMG, bought Bitcoin as well as Ethereum for its corporate treasury. Let's go mass BTC adoption. And before I break down next story of the day, Bitcoin Lightning Network goes live on the Cash App as well as global crypto adoption could soon hit a hyperinflection point according to the latest Wells Fargo report as well as Bitcoin forming a price floor on its way to $100,000 according to the latest Bloomberg report. But first, let's take a quick look at the overall crypto market. As you can see, Bitcoin up almost 2% for the day, trading just above 43000 $400. We have Ethereum barely in the green, but maintaining above that $3,000 support. We have Solana down 4%, trading at $112. XRP up over 9%, maintaining just above $0.84. Cents. And Shiba up a whopping 16%, but still trading at virtually nothing. I want to give a quick shout out to iTrust Capital, the world's largest crypto IRA platform with over $3.5 billion in transactions. If you're looking to trade crypto tax-free, look no further than iTrust. And yes, they are backed by the world's leading institutional cold storage provider, Coinbase Custody, with a $320 million insurance policy. So go ahead and use my referral link in the description right down below to take advantage of the number one crypto IRA provider in America. And if you sign up today, you're going to receive a $100 funding reward as a free bonus. So go ahead and use my referral link in the description right down below. And let's start stacking those sats tax-free. But all right, now let's break down our next story of the day. Mobile payment service Cash App revealed that the Lightning Network can now be used to transfer Bitcoin 
through its app. With this new feature, its users can send their Bitcoin to any Lightning or on-chain Bitcoin address. And here's the announcement they shared on crypto Twitter. Lightning Network is now available on Cash App. It's the fastest, free way to pay anyone in Bitcoin. You can buy tacos, tip your favorite Twitter comedian, or send a friend money abroad anywhere that accepts Lightning. Now, just a few weeks ago, the company announced through a notification within the app that it has integrated the Lightning Network. Now its users can finally use the feature and utilize the benefits that the Bitcoin Lightning Network brings into everyday Bitcoin transactions. Now to use the Lightning Network on Cash App, users need to scan a Lightning QR using their cameras, confirm the details of the payment, and tap on pay. The Lightning Network, sometimes called Lightning or LN, is a layer two solution that brings scalability to the king of all crypto. Lightning eases the load on the Bitcoin blockchain by creating a separate network where users transact and create minimal engagements within the Bitcoin blockchain to lessen the fees and speed up transactions. Now this is a pretty big deal to be able to send and receive Bitcoin virtually free and instantaneous and puts a lot of other major cryptos out of business. Just saying, while many users rejoice, they're able to use the Lightning Network feature through their Cash App, some could only watch. As the firm mentioned just a few weeks ago, the feature will be available everywhere in the United States, apart from New York. As this time, New York residents aren't eligible for Lightning, Cash App tweeted, Boo, what's going on with New York? Falling apart. Mayor Adams, what are we going to do about this? Now, Twitter user, not Grubles, disagreed. According to him, users in New York are still eligible if they run their own Lightning Network node. Because of the decentralized nature of the Bitcoin Lightning Network transactions, it can be used by anyone regardless of their location outside of the Cash App. Now, Proof of Brain, another user, also supported the sentiment by tweeting the following. This is what makes Bitcoin plus the Lightning Network so special. Flank. The regulators. Now, the Cash App is a service developed and operated by Block Inc., a company founded by Jack Dorsey. And back in 2021, Dorsey stepped down as the Twitter CEO. While he mentions that stepping down is a way to give the company freedom from the founder's influence, many speculate that the move means that Dorsey will spend more time on Bitcoin. That's a given. And speaking of the Lightning Network, the Lightning Network capacity just made a new all time high at 3,436. BTC. Let's go. And before I break down next story of the day, global crypto adoption could soon hit a hyperinflection point, according to the latest Wells Fargo report, as well as Bitcoin is forming a price floor on its way to $100,000, according to the latest Bloomberg report. But first, let's take a quick look at the overall crypto market cap. Sitting just under $1.7 trillion with $101 billion in volume in the past 24 hours. And the current Bitcoin dominance is at 41.4%, with the Ether dominance at 17 0.6%. Now let's check out the top gainers for the week within the top 100 cryptos. We have Quant up a whopping 48%, Gala up 62%, Shiba up 47%, KDA up 35%. We have XMR, which is Monero, up 21%. Now as you can see, not too shabby of gains for the week as the crypto market has been pumping. Let's keep it going. Now let's break down our next story of the day. Wells Fargo Investment Institute, the research division of Wells Fargo Wealth and Investment Management, has released a new report highlighting the potential of cryptos as an investment opportunity akin to the early days of the internet. Now, in the Monday report titled Cryptocurrencies, Too Early or Too Late, the banking giant referred to cryptos as viable investments but hinted there was no rush for investors to enter the still maturing market. Wells Fargo's global investment strategy team said it did not subscribe to the idea that it was too late to invest in crypto given that the space is relatively young in terms of other asset classes. And according to the banking giant, the technology behind crypto is following an adoption path similar to that of the internet in the early to mid-1990s when consumers still needed time to figure out what the technology is, what it can do, and how it can benefit them. However, like the internet, the rising number of crypto users suggest the world is beginning to embrace this crypto technology and quickly. According to a Crypto.com study from July, the number of global crypto users more than doubled from 100 million in January 2021 to 221 million in June. And quoting the report here, if this trend continues, Cryptocurrencies can soon exit the early adoption phase and enter an inflection point of hyper adoption, similar to other technologies the report shared. There is a point where adoption rates begin to rise and do not look back. Precise numbers aside, there is no doubt that global cryptocurrency adoption is rising and can soon hit a hyper inflection point. And in this chart, it shows you the internet usage history versus 
crypto users with internet users on the left and crypto users on the right. And you can see it's going massively parabolic. Now the report added that the removal of regulatory roadblocks was also necessary for greater adoption, noting the environment was slowly changing to solidify cryptocurrencies as investment assets. The Wells Fargo team advised potential crypto users to be patient and use private placements for investments as the type of vehicles currently available are a bit behind and still maturing. However, higher quality investment options can soon arise if regulatory hurdles are cleared. As they share here, there is no need to rush as most of the opportunity lies before us, not behind us. We are hopeful that regulators may soon approve mutual funds and ETFs backed by the digital assets themselves maybe as soon as 2022. Now check this out. As of October 2021, the Wells Fargo Investment Institute offered guidance and advice on more than $2.1 trillion in assets. The firm announced last year it planned to onboard qualified investors to its crypto investment platform. So there you have it. And to read this entire special report put out by the Wells Fargo Investment Institute entitled Cryptocurrencies Too Early or Too Late, check the show notes below the video in the description. It's a simple eight-page read. And before I break down our final story of the day, Bitcoin forming a price floor on its way to $100,000 according to the latest Bloomberg report. But first, I want to remind you to smash that show more button right below this video in the description for a detailed analysis of what's going on in the crypto market. This goes for all 1,000 plus videos right here on my YouTube channel. Also, some very helpful resources for you to plug into, including my new crypto merch store, now live at merch.cryptonewsalerts.net. Also, the daily letter, which goes out to over 30,000 subscribers every single day. To subscribe, visit letter.cryptonewsalerts.net. Also, the blog I update daily, which can be found at CryptoNewsYes.com. Also, be sure to smash that subscribe button and ring that bell to turn on all notifications to receive daily premium crypto news alerts every single day, just like this. And of course, you can find me on all the major podcasts and platforms. We're currently receiving over 700,000 downloads per month. You can find me on Spotify or Apple's iTunes. And if you're listening to the pod, be sure to check out the YouTube channel at CryptoNewsAlerts.net for the full premium experience with video. But all right, now let's break down our final story of the day. Bitcoin is likely forming support above the $40,000 level en route to breaking the six-figure mark according to Bloomberg Commodities Analysts. That's right. In its latest Crypto Outlook report, Bloomberg says that traders thinking about Bitcoin trading between a range of 30 and 60,000 may be caught off guard as Bitcoin price action progresses. Quoting them here, Bitcoin is more likely forming a floor than a ceiling, which means range traders accustomed to 30 to 60,000 may be disappointed. Since the start of 2021, the more tactically oriented had opportunities near the lower end twice and to sell for double around the upper end. Our graphics show this consolidation period may be ending with the path of least resistance pointing higher about 30 percent below the 52 week moving average has proven to be a good support reading bitcoin revisited this potential bottom in january for the first time since the 2020 trough and right here in this chart it shows you the top of the bitcoin range moving towards that six figure mark and as samson mao points out the cso of blockstream bitcoin one hundred thousand dollars by june let me know if you agree or disagree with samson mao's prediction and when do you feel we're likely to hit that six-figure mark. Now let's move on to Ethereum. Looking at Ethereum, Bloomberg says that a dwindling supply of ETH could put upward pressure on the top smart contract platform as it attempts to break out of the two to four thousand dollar range. Quoting them here, Ethereum supply is less defined, but clearly in a downward trajectory, notably due to a protocol change in 2021 that burns coins. Ethereum is the foundation for revolutionary technologies like NFTs and crypto dollars. Bitcoin is well on its way to becoming the benchmark global digital collateral. Now most stable coins which Bloomberg commodity strategist Mike McGlone calls crypto dollars are currently based on the Ethereum network. This is another bullish factor for ETH, according to the analyst, quoting Mike McGlone here. Ethereum made crypto dollars possible and the escalating use of the technology to transact greenback support the number two crypto's price. Approaching $170 billion on February 2nd, the market cap of the top six crypto dollars listed on CoinMarketCap is up about 5x from the start. A 2021. That pace may slow, but we see little to stop with his billions of dollars in market cap from reaching trillions of dollars. Very powerful words coming from the Bloomberg strategist, Mike McGlone. Let me know when you feel Bitcoin is likely to reach that six-figure mark. And where do you feel Ethereum will likely end before the end of the year? Holla at your boy in the live chat. And to read this entire Bloomberg Crypto Outlook report entitled The Buck, Bitcoin and Ethereum, check the show notes below the video in the description. And now for a quick recap of what I covered with you here in today's show. Bitcoin rebound hits 45000 
5,500 as focus switches to future support retest. We also discuss breaking news. Bitcoin Lightning Network goes live on the Cash App as well as global crypto adoption could soon hit hyperinflection point according to the latest Wells Fargo report. And we also discuss Bitcoin forming a price floor on its way to six figures according to the latest Bloomberg report. But where do you feel the Bitcoin price is likely to go next? Let me know in the comments right down below. Now for the top three comments from yesterday's episode, Bitbud quoted the great Satoshi Nakamoto, I don't believe a second compatible implementation of Bitcoin will ever be a good idea. So much of the design depends on all nodes getting exactly identical results in lockstep that a second implementation would be a menace to the network. Powerful words coming from Satoshi. Thanks so much for sharing Bitbud. Hodl. And our next featured comment comes from Half a Sheep, who says, Go truckers, love your work, JV. That's right, go truckers, we fully support your efforts. And with Bitcoin, you cannot be stopped. Now, for our third and final featured comment comes from Chris. I hope all the shop garages and hotels in Ottawa start accepting Bitcoin immediately. Cheers, Chris. Seems Bitcoin is Canada's final hope, as Bitcoin cannot be silenced and allows those who use it to continue to have a voice, which will be heard. Hodl. And to be featured on tomorrow's episode, drop me a comment right down below.